Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your love reading. So today we're going to take a look and see who is coming towards you, who is coming your way in your love life. I look at this energy as romantic. We're going to take a look and see what is this person like? What do you need to know about them? What are your messages from spirit? With whatever comes through, I just want you guys to know that I only wish you all the best in your love life. All right, and if you are new to my channel, I appreciate you clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Pastor Nahara Tarot. Let's get into it, Taurus. Who is coming away? Before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite my life the Holy Spirit. Wow, this is crazy. Um, just because just because of like, why does this person want to argue with you? It's almost like someone from the past is coming towards you again, Taurus. So you know how long you choose to engage with this person, like that answer will be different for everyone here. Even the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the overall energy. I know that this person is watching you. I know they're thinking of you. But then again, at the same time, I know that they're really mad at you. So it's like a heads up. You have someone that's coming in because they have a bone that they want to pick with you. That's just what it is. Like you have someone that I feel is coming back from the past that you have a history with. It's weird because, you know, not to judge, but it's weird because this person misses you like crazy, does not want, like, feels like I'm on the outside, I'm not a part of things. Maybe you cut them off or you kick them out or you cut them out because there's a real desperation in this person's energy where they feel like they are not included and they feel like they're an outsider. But then I also see the longing in this person's energy to be back wherever you are. But then I'm telling you that they are bringing a lot of anger. Like this is not a person that's coming back. It's it's weird because I know that they want to argue with you. I, I know that they do. They have some things that they've, mm, you have to be careful because those, this energy can cut like a knife and it's all about what they want to say. The Knight of Swords is very angry, 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 angry. That that's just what this person is bringing in to her. So I feel like this is a reading for someone, like a heads up to really watch your back about someone who's trying to like pick a fight with you. I wonder who this makes you think of. Of course, I'm reading for love and romance, but if this makes you think of someone else or it's a heads up to you from spirit, I'm not gonna take that away from you and say, oh, it's only love. you romance you know if like because if you feel like this is someone and it's a warning to you then take the warning if it feels like it's right for you but you know when i do look at the energy romantically it almost looks like someone that you were in a very serious relationship with and it's just tricky because i know how much they miss you but then i also know how they're holding a huge grudge and they feel so resentful and they feel so mad don't think i side with this person towards or i'm saying that this is okay i'm just the messenger and i'll tell you what spirit is showing me because hopefully it's going to help someone maybe avoid this person altogether the Queen of Pentacles lets me know that they feel you took them for granted and you didn't appreciate them. But it's like they haven't gotten over that and they're still very much thinking of these things every day. Or if they have a way to watch you, they are watching you. So maybe it's a heads up for someone to be a little more cautious with energy like this and with someone who just feels so mad and who feels so rejected and who feels like you just you just left me and I'm, I'm suffering because of it. Because they, they're really focused on their anger and suffering because they even feel like it affected their money. 
Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Pentacles lets me know that this person is in a state where maybe they feel like they, they barely have any money, like I'm broke, I'm struggling, um, I want to, I'm, I'm mad, they're so mad, Taurus. So I do feel like maybe this is even someone's personal reading or maybe just a heads up around Taurus's energy, someone that really is holding a grudge against you that could like pop back up into the picture somehow because they're making their way back. And it's like, I have my, I feel like I, this person's energy is, you're gonna hear what I have to say. I feel like you owe it to me to listen. So it's like they're almost putting in a lot of effort to try and reconnect with you. If if you run into this person, that is not a coincidence. That is not by chance. It's someone who is really holding on, like very bitter, very angry, very much in a grudge. Like no love is on this person's mind. Like their anger is just on their mind. Please don't think I side with this person, Taurus, or feel like you, you have deserve this in any way but you know like i said i'll just tell you what comes through i want to look at this eight of cups scorpio's energy is here virgo energy is here are you thinking of either of those it could be cross watchers for you or your moon or rising signs pisces I just, this person feels like there's something that you owe to them. And maybe it's even like an apology that you owe to them. Or even like, um, cause this is, this is what it's like. All these things I did for you. And what do you, you owe this to me. What are you going to do for me? That's, that's what they're thinking a lot about. And it, on this person's mind for someone here is money. It's weird though, Taurus, because I can see the way that they don't want to be an outsider. They don't want to be excluded. They don't want to be out of your life. They want to be a part of your life. But then they're so mad at the same time. They're so vengeful. They're so bitter at the same time. It's very alarming to me. It's just the way that they, I, okay, so this is someone who feels like they tried and tried and tried and tried. This is a person that feels, I just, I feel for them because they are so bitter. Because they're just um, keeping score. And when they do the math, like it doesn't add up. It's like, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. And you just, abandon me or you just leave me out in the cold what about everything that i did for you you know and i feel like this person for some of you here they will yell at you they will scream at you this is someone who is not like their temper is is this person is really mad taurus or if it's someone because i i feel the energy of like they they might yell and like literally try to argue with you or they're just gonna say some things that are so like mean and nasty because there is nothing nice about this knight of swords and, and this kind of spread there's nothing nice that that person has to say so i think it's a heads up warning to someone i wonder if there's if you I will put this out there. Like if you've had someone that you literally had to get a restraining order against, you have to be careful because I feel like this person like will try and violate that. Or if it's someone that like, you know, they lost their temper with you before. And, and maybe you cut them out or cut them off because of that didn't like the way they spoke to you, they're going to try and speak to you that way again. So I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm always, I always wonder, like, when you get heavy messages like this, 
I know that it's for someone to hear. It could even be someone's personal reading, but moreover, I know that it's a, a red flag or like a warning for someone for what they need to be aware of. Because this is not a new person's energy. This is the energy of someone that you have a history with. For some of you, this may make you think of a non-romantic person. And I just need to tell you how upset they are. If there's someone that you're fighting like that um, over money with Taurus, you might find that they um, come back around sooner or later, like looking looking for money from you, blaming you, going to argue with you. This is a person that I feel um, will say a lot of mean and like nasty things, cuss the other one out, like, cut the other one with their words. So there's nothing nice that I have to tell you about this person coming your way. But then some of you watching this may already know that about them, may already have had very negative experiences with this person. And then maybe this can help you put on your um, armor, so to speak, to, to deal with it, or maybe think of what you want to say, or maybe think of what you want to do when this person like confront you because they're very confrontational or maybe this might make you um choose someone that you're not going to talk to again if they try to reach out to you somehow okay taurus that's what i can see all right just take the warning if you choose to i feel like it's valuable especially if you can relate to these energies because it, it really does give you a leg up so to speak so you know what could be coming your way so you know how to prepare for a person like this because i'm telling you this is someone that you have a history with this is not someone new okay you guys and just remember that these messages only come from a place of love and light intended to help whoever it's for I don't agree with any of anything that this person is doing. And please don't think I'm saying you're deserving of this at all, Taurus. And if anyone is like a cross watcher, um, this could be how you feel about a Taurus. Okay, you guys, I love you so much, Taurus. I do hope that you found the reading helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, maybe share it with someone that you feel it will help. Leave a comment and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next reading.